Mr. Martin, I want to listen to your lungs. Before setting any oxygen flow rate, assess the patient's respiratory system and consider the prescribed oxygen delivery method, flow rate, and duration of therapy. After attaching a flow meter to the oxygen source, attach the oxygen tubing to the delivery device and the flow meter. Then adjust the flow rate as prescribed and check to ensure that the oxygen is flowing. For a patient who will have a nasal cannula, use a flow rate of 1 to 6 liters per minute, which delivers a fraction of inspired oxygen, or FiO2, of 24 to 45 percent. If the flow rate is 4 liters per minute or higher, add humidification and verify that water is bubbling in the humidifier. Ms. Walters, let me adjust this. For if you. the patient has a reservoir nasal cannula or oxymizer, set the flow rate at 1 to 15 liters per minute as prescribed, which supplies an FiO2 of 24 to 100 percent. How does that feel better? When your patient is wearing a simple face mask, expect to use a flow rate of 5 to 10 liters per minute for an FiO2 of 40 to 60 percent. For a patient with a Venturi mask, Plan to set the ordered flow rate between 4 and 12 liters per minute. Select the appropriate flow rate to deliver the percentage of oxygen ordered by the physician. To deliver a preset FiO2 of 30 to 80 percent, attach the appropriate color-coded connector as shown. Some Venturi masks include an adjustable barrel instead of interchangeable connectors. Walters, when using a partial rebreathing mask, Keep the flow rate high enough to prevent the bag from collapsing, for example, between 8 and 12 liters per minute. This delivers an FiO2 of 60 to 95 percent. For a patient with a non-rebreathing mask, use a flow rate of 6 to 15 liters per minute, which supplies an FiO2 of 60 to 100 percent. If your patient has a face tent, set the flow rate at 8 to 12 liters per minute, as prescribed which delivers a highly variable FiO2 of 28 to 100 percent. Ms. Walters, I'm going to check your oximetry. Putting this As part right of your follow-up care, monitor the patient's pulse oximetry and ABG levels. If they're not in the expected range, notify the physician who may order a flow rate adjustment. <laughs>